Maybe some of you guys are going to bed. Maybe some of you guys are actually hustling the muscle by the end of the night. Maybe some of you guys are about to earn your pillow. All I know is this, if you ain't earning your pillow every single day, if you're not obsessed with your daily activity, what are you doing? This video is for those of you that are hating. This video is for those of you that want to learn and understand the process of becoming successful in anything you put your mind into. If you make a decision to become successful, you have to be obsessed. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes before we get to the gym. If you are not obsessed about your future, if you're not obsessed about making money, if you're not obsessed about taking over what it is that you're trying to accomplish, you are wasting your time. If no one has ever called you obsessed, crazy, psychotic, nuts, you're going, you're dreaming too big, you're 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 above average, you're not you're you're not normal, all this crazy. If you haven't heard any of these statements before, you're not gonna succeed, man. You have to hear those things from the people. The average person, the average person will always criticize you for what you're chasing. The average person will always hold you back from accomplishing those dreams and goals. The average person thinks that 50 grand a year or 100 grand a year is gonna accomplish everything they wanna accomplish. They think 100 grand a year is gonna solve all their problems. And what you need to understand is that 100 grand ain't gonna do shit. 100 grand is just gonna put you above the crowd enough to keep you just comfortable just this much to think you're doing good. But when the real problems hit, when the big bad wolf knocks on your door, is your house made out of bricks? Or is your house made out of straws? And 100 grand a year, my friend, is just straws. So if you're not obsessed with creating a passion inside of you at 11, 15 at night to get yourself out of bed, to do something productive, to go push yourself to the limits that you never thought you could actually push yourself to, then what are you doing? How do you expect to succeed? How do you expect to have children and have them look up to you and, tell, and have them say, Daddy or Mommy, I want to be just like you? How do you have your children one day say, I want to live the life that my parents lived. I want to do exactly what my parents did. If your children cannot say that about you right now, you need to change your thinking. The average mindset is killing everybody right now. And the only reason why I'm playing this video is because recently someone told me, man, you're too ambitious, Mike. I said, no, my friend, you're just not obsessed about your dreams. And you're not obsessed about your goals. So you accept the mediocre, mediocre, average thinking mindset. You accepted the mediocre Mickey. Mouth, and now I'm not gonna accept that. I grew up poor. My children will never know what poor is. My great grandchildren will never know what poor is. My great 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 grandchildren are gonna have this big ass portrait in the middle of their house with me looking at them. You ever seen those uh porches when the guys are looking at you? You're like, I know, is he looking at me? The eyes keep moving and they follow you like that. That's what I'm gonna have in my in my great 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 grandkids inside of their home because I'm gonna let them know when I'm dead. That the legacy lives on. And that's the kind of legacy you should leave to your children. If you're not obsessed and if you're not passionate about your dreams and your goals, then you're doing something that's going to give you an average mediocre life. You have to be obsessed. There's nothing wrong with being obsessed. There's nothing wrong with being addicted to success, to, to future-minded thinking. There's nothing wrong with that. And for those of you that start to understand this concept of being obsessed and not being average and just be, and there's a new book that came out by Grant Cardone called Be Obsessed or Be Average. And it's the truth. If you're not obsessed, then you're average. You have to be obsessed. LeBron James was obsessed about basketball. Michael Jordan was obsessed about basketball. Bill Gates was obsessed about changing the world. Steve Jobs, before he passed away, his whole mission was to change the world, and he was obsessed with that, and that's why he became number one. If you're not obsessed, you will be average. You will live a mediocre life, and guess what's going to happen? You're not going to accomplish those things you want to accomplish if you're going to think that way. You've got to be obsessed. you got to be passionate. you got to be so focused that all your family say you're fucking nuts. You have to be nuts to succeed in this world. If you want to succeed to the levels that I'm talking about, if you want to be a hectamillionaire, a decamillionaire, right? If you want to be a multi, 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 maybe even a billionaire or even be the first trillionaire, you have to think in obsessive amounts. You have to think of an abundance mentality, not this poor bullshit that I hear all the time. It drives me crazy when people say, oh, Michael, you're working too much. I'm like, dude, I'm on a fucking candle. You're going to burn out, Mike. No, man, I'm not a candle. I don't burn out. The reason why some of you guys get a burnout and Grant Cardone talks about this is because you're not reigniting your flame. How could, listen, do I look burned out to you? I woke up 7 o'clock in the morning. I, been, I was working till 11 o'clock at night tonight, busting my ass. And I'm still fucking excited to go to the gym. So what's the difference between me and you? The only difference is, for those of you that think I'm burning out, is that my passion is ignited 24 fucking 7. I sleep with excitement. 
I don't even know how my, my body sleeps. My mind doesn't sleep, I'll tell you that for a fact. My body sleeps. My mind is always working and churning and, and, and figuring things out. And because I'm excited about where I'm going, I know what I'm gonna accomplish. I'm looking for people that are attracted to this mindset. And if you're attracted to this mindset, share this. If you think this video can benefit somebody, share this video, like it. Give me your feedback, if it's positive feedback, if it's negative feedback. Listen, if you don't like me, if you don't like my comment, if you don't like any comment, man, I wanna read it. Cause that's gonna fuel me, man. That's gonna, my haters and my naysayers is what fuels me all the time. There was one friend a long time ago, at 19 years old, I told him I was gonna get a green Lamborghini. He told me, oh, <laughs> Mike, you're never gonna get that. He started laughing, laughing beyond, listen, he was laughing so much that he almost choked on his saliva. That's how bad he was laughing. And guess what? I will never forget that day. Cause I promise you, when I'll be riding that green Lamborghini one of these days, I promise you, I'm gonna go by his house, honk the horn, and say, Mr. Harry, I'm here for you, brother. To all those haters, comment. For those of you that love this stuff and you, you appreciate this, comment, share. I want to see your feedback. I want to know who's inspired by this. Because I get a lot of direct messages, a lot of mess from Instagram, Snapchat, all these different places saying, Mike, keep posting. You're doing awesome. At every single video is to just inspire you to go chase your dreams and chase your goals. Because if you go chase your goals and chase your dreams, I'll be a better person. Love you guys. Have a good night. I'm about to hit the gym right now with this energy.